Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks he'd never know. And then one day, the package found me. Thousands died. Five square blocks smashed into rubble. And at the center was me. Alive, but changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Back then, Empire City was in quarantine. It had gone to hell. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all. Find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. But in the end, I found the man responsible, Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A beast is coming. A monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. A month later, I met Lucy Quo. She somehow knew all about the beast. In fact, she had come to help me prepare. Claimed her friend, Dr. Wolf, had worked on the race fear prototype and that he could amplify my powers. All I had to do was go with her down to Numeray. I need those powers. The beast is coming. And I will be ready. Man, I tell you, Cole, that Agent Quo, she doesn't mess around, huh? First boat out of town? Chick's got some connections. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in, I'm gonna get some new powers, and then we're gonna come right back. Come on, man, you deserve to relax. We're going to New Marais. Hey, I need to be back here and ready when it shows up, Zeke. Trust me, Cole, you will be ready when you're done working with Dr. Wolf. Work? <laughs> Easy, Quo. When we get there, we're gonna be about the three Bs. That's beer, mm -hmm. boobs, and mechanical bolts. Gentlemen, I don't think that you understand the scope of what is going on here. What is going on?
Get back to the boat! Pier's breaking up! Nice work, McGrath. That was impressive. The beast had drained me, broken my powers. It felt like the end. I almost wish it was. The beast had just put itself back together. And now Empire City is dead. Our ship ran for it. Fling south to New Marais. People kept their distance, whether from respect or fear. I don't know. Either way, I was alone. Others kept busy, acting out their routines as if it would make the world right again. But I knew better. I had been given powers to defeat the beast. I was strong. I was ready. I had fought it with everything I had wasn't enough. That needed to change. The next day I went to work. I helped Zeke create a device to focus my powers. Hell, he'd do anything to be friends like we used to be. Agent Quo gathered intelligence on the beast. Town after town was lost as it traveled down the coast. She also used her contacts to requisition a smaller boat. New Moray was in lockdown. Wouldn't let anyone in. We were gonna have to sneak in through the swamp. I don't know if you've ever let someone down, got your ass kicked, or straight up failed. But those are the moments that define us. They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices, no matter what the cost. Hello, Cole. You know, when you go to talk to Wolf, everything is going to become completely... Zeke! Zeke, catch the engines! What's up? Militia blockade. If we get any close in there, artillery will sink us. Well, I guess it's time I go introduce myself. Wait up, man. Here she is. <laughs> And you're sure it's ready? Uh, I hope so. Give her a try. <laughs> oh, I'll be damned. Wow. Cool. What is that thing? I call it the amp. Good work, Zeke. Thanks, brother. Go have some fun. This is gonna make a hell of an impression. Hey, Quo. Does the NSA even know what you're up to with me? I took a leave of absence. How's that? I mean, you seem pretty by the numbers. The NSA plans to deal with the beast by deploying the military. Wolf has a better plan. You. He invented race through technology. You want enough power to defeat the beast? He is your man. Hey, Zeke. Sam's gonna work out just fine. All right! Hey, put a couple of notches on it for me, man. Expect more resistance. The militia controls everything going in or out of Numeray. God, how could they let a bunch of hick fascists take over their city? People do strange things when they're afraid.
Cole, looks like you could lower that bridge if you give it some power. Need swimming. Just don't overcharge it. A fire could blow up the entire village. Yeah, it could. I could take all these guys out at once. Oh yeah, and the women, and the children, and the pets. out of commission, but I bet there's more militia hiding out up ahead. Okay, let us know when it's clear. Put something to rest right now. I created the militia. Not for me, but for you. For your protection. Alright, now we Okay, guys, clear to dock. Nice. We will come to you and then head up for Wolf's Lab. Militia sure has changed this town. Ain't nothing like it used to be. Ah, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Numeray. 
came here four years ago while learning how to climb. After the flood, half the buildings were abandoned. It was a haven for urban exploration. Hell, even Zeke banned up and gave it a try. Oh, it was great. See, in any other city you start to climb, you got maybe ten minutes before the cops show up. But here, well, police had their hands full with other things. The place was lawless. It was raunchy, and except for the hangovers, it was goddamn heaven. But not anymore. Now these redneck assholes strut up and down the street, eyeballing everybody, looking for deviants to punish. Tension's thick. People here, they're ready to explode. Somewhere in this gorgeous corpse of a town is the key to amping up my powers. These pricks, they're gonna try to get in my way, try to kill me to keep their town pure. I say bring it. Zeke, you move that boat for a sign of trouble. All right, super spy. Uh, you expecting a little action? Well, the whole town is going to be on high alert thanks to your little massacre in the swamp. I didn't see you complaining when I got the boat through in one piece. You know what, Cole? You have so much power. Next time, use it wisely. And do me a favor, don't forget what it's like to be human. But I'm not human, am I? Not anymore. Oh, you don't understand what it's like, but you're right. I do have powers, and I use them. Fine, fine. Let's just forget about this and move on to business. But can you just not mention this when I take you to meet Wolf? It's embarrassing. Hey, Dr. Wolf, I'm back in town. I have McGrath. Good, very good. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. What? Are you all right? Yes, but the militia searched my lab this morning and discovered the blast core I'd been hiding. Okay, stay in your lab. We'll swing by the west of house. Damn! Hit him with the grenade! It's gonna blow! Back up, back up! That's right, stuff. Mind turned away? Nice. The West Lookout is just up ahead. are back. They're trying to force the door to my lab. Listen, Wolf, I'm on my way. McGrath, you're on your own. The blast core blows purple. I'll find it. Go help Wolf. Stay sharp. Wolf's in trouble, but you got time for this, right?
Whoa, Wolf. Pretty sure I found it. Still at the lab? McGrath! The shards there! Oh, God! I'm on my way. Is who? Kessler. The man who gave you your powers. I know who Kessler is. A at the beginning, we were friends. He told me all about his plans for you. And the beast. Well, then you know I failed. I couldn't stop it. Empire City is gone. Yes, and, and, and it won't stop it. Uh, unless you expand your abilities. Become powerful enough to use this. Not a race here. No. Rayfield inhibitor. I call it the RFI. Think of it as an anti ray sphere. So instead of giving powers, it takes them away. Precisely. With that device, you can combat the beast, subtract his abilities, keep it safe. Yeah. What about. What about this? Ah, oh, glass cores. They power the RFI. They're batteries for the same energy that fuels all genetic mutation. Pass a current through it, and its energy will release into the nearest conduit. Oh, so this is going to make me stronger. Oh, Lord, yes, and that's just the first. <laughs> Together we will defeat the beast. Oh, enough of the pep talk, Wolf. Let's do this. <laughs> back I'm starting to haul you guys away quo's still off chasing the fellows with wolf so uh what happened that old guy slip you a roofie no <laughs> no i actually think i might have a new power really come on let's see what you got strut your stuff peacock you've been causing they might be looking for you but think hard before you jump these guys we need to make allies not lose them don't you touch me 
I'm tracking the guys who took Wolf, but it's gonna take a while. In the meantime, Cole, I think you should salvage some of the fallout from Wolf's lab. You wanna get to it before the lunchtime. 